Today in crypto, Bitcoin and Ethereum are breaking out big time, testing key areas of what could represent big time macro reversals of an epic proportion if this succeeds. This could be it, guys. This could be it. This could be the bull run that we have been waiting for. It could actually be happening now. Fingers crossed. Anyway, <laughs> my name is Lark and this is where you subscribe for all of the hottest and all of the latest happening out here in the wild, wild land of crypto. A big thank you to Prime XBT for sponsoring today's episode. Prime XBT allows you to trade in traditional markets like oil or gold or even stock indexes like the S&P 500 and Nikkei. You can also trade Forex like yen, British pounds, euros, all using Bitcoin since Prime XBT is a Bitcoin first exchange. They also offer a wide range of cryptocurrencies to trade against as well. There's generous leverage on offer and no KYC is required to trade on Prime XBT. Now Prime XBT is an advanced exchange and it is only for experienced traders. There's a link down below where you can learn more. Okay, so let's talk about the markets. Now, Bitcoin at the time of recording this video is back over $10,000, which is definitely nice. Very, very nice, Bitcoin. I like to see that. It's very good. Now, over the last week, Bitcoin has finally left that symmetrical triangle that we had been watching for weeks previously in the dust. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. Now, this is incredibly important, important for the market moving forward. We just broke to the upside and we are now continuing the bullish momentum that has been really defining the crypto market for the last few months, even though we have had that coiling in period, we're now breaking out from that. And much more importantly, if we zoom out to the weekly, we see a very, very interesting picture starting to form up. Bitcoin has just broke that descending line of resistance that has defined the entire damn crypto market for more than two and a half years. This is incredibly significant and could finally represent a real macro reversal for Bitcoin. And this could actually be the first step truly on the road to the bull run that will be so intense so life-changing it's literally going to melt people's faces off goodbye face goodbye you'll be missed <laughs> and let me just throw out there that while i am wildly bullish on the market right now anything can happen these markets are super super volatile so please do keep your heads screwed on properly Please don't go out buying a bunch of crypto, maxing out your credit cards. Don't buy crypto on credit. Not a good idea. Don't run out there and take out a 50x Bitcoin long on Bybit or something like that. Not a good idea. Don't take high leverage positions or really just any other high risk behavior. Stick to your plan, man, because no one can predict the future of the markets and things can change very, very quickly as we know. You can believe in the best outcomes, but you should always be prepared for the worst ones. Yes, Bitcoin is looking very, very nice and very, very bullish right now. But let's remember that it absolutely has to break $10,500, which has been this absolute just line in the sand for a very, very long time now. I want to see this happen before I flip just like crazy, insane bullish. Now, with so much momentum building in the market, this may just be the final test where we do see $10,500 break. And if we do break and hold above $10,500, then really the sky is the limit and we can see Bitcoin pumping really, really fast up to levels like $14,000, which was the height of last year's bull run. But we have got to actually break it. This could even get us on the road to seeing a new all-time high over $20,000 by the end of the year. Now, we could still see a failed test of $10,500 here and drop right back down into the $9,000 zone, retesting that descending line of resistance, trying to flip it into support. That would technically be very bullish, but I want you to be aware of this as a possibility. Now, Bitcoin dominance is also seeing a slight reversal with all this interest coming back into Bitcoin right now. It's still maintaining in the 62% area, but Bitcoin dominance, it is down 11% on the year. And that to me is one damn clear signal that altcoins are stealing the show and will probably continue to do so as that downtrend continues. I predict that Bitcoin dominance will continue falling for probably the next 18 months or so until we see the market top blow off and there will happen that's going to come at some point 
Altcoins are probably the play of the century over the coming year, though, considering how much ROI there will probably be. But just be aware that when the orange coin really does any kind of moves, it can spoil the fun real fast for altcoins. It's actually crazy the last few hours because what we've seen is people selling altcoins at like 20 or 30% losses against Bitcoin just to FOMO into like a 3 or 4% Bitcoin move. Crazy, man. Be chillin', be chillin', be chillin'. Stack sass and chill. Play the long game, guys. Also, the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index is continuing to move up as greed is becoming a more dominant force in the market. But we are still far away from that kind of just like irrational, crazy, exuberant, euphoric greed that marks a top zone for the market. So a lot of room to see the big orange guy continue moving upwards in the coming months. Now, that's just the Bitcoin story, but let's keep it real. Ethereum is leading this bull market, just like it did back in 2017. <gasps> what did you say, Lark? Yes, yes, deal with it, maximalists. Deal with it, deal with it. Okay, so what really caused the market insanity of 2017? It was the high steel boom. That's why Bitcoin went to $20,000. It has Ethereum to thank for that. So much money was just flowing around, and a lot of that money flooded back into Bitcoin, driving it up to $20,000. Obviously, people cashed out of their ICOs and it kind of the boom finished and then we had a big bust. But that market cycle that we're seeing right now, it's being started by DeFi, which has almost exclusively been on Ethereum. Yes, DeFi is coming to Cardano. Yes, DeFi is coming to Tezos. It's coming to Cosmos. It's coming to Polkadot. It's coming to other chains. But it started, in truth, on Ethereum. This is where the gains have been recently in the market, and that is where money will be coming back from to flow into Bitcoin that was built on Ethereum. Just look at Ethereum over the last few days, it's absolutely skyrocketed, up 38% in just a few days' time, finally feeling the benefits of that DeFi wave that we've been riding for the last month or so, hitting price highs not seen since last summer, indicating a massive move for Ethereum and possibly exiting its multi-year bear market as well. Now, if we can see Ethereum crack past $360 and hold above there, it would be incredibly significant for ETH as it would give us a new high not seen since August 2018. And it would move us beyond a key area of price resistance from 20. 19. Do be aware though that in the short term the RSI on Ethereum is showing that it is massively, massively overbought and that we could be in for at least a cool down period if not a correction coming soon. Also the total value locked into decentralized finance on Tuesday last week stood at $3 billion. It has now hit $4 billion. The growth happening right now is just, it's just out of control. Crazy, 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 crazy growing so fast. Anyway, why the heck are the markets pumping? Well, one reason, of course, it was just about damn time for it to happen. I mean, seriously, how much bullish news can we keep getting about the markets without the majors pumping a bit? Well, it finally happened. But also we need to understand there's cycles that happen in the crypto markets. This chart that Wrecked Capital shared in the Wealth Mastery newsletter last week, it is super on point. And right now we are at the stage in the cycle where money is flowing back up from those low cap altcoins into Bitcoin and into Ethereum. People are taking profits on some of their smaller plays where they've seen 5, 10, 20x gains recently. And this is a good thing for the market. It's healthy to have so much of this um, uh, gains happening and the speculation going on. And this cycle is probably going to repeat 20 more times before we actually see the market top blow off in late 2021 or early 2020. I think as we watch Bitcoin and Ethereum pump, it is also important as well to bring up precious metals. Now, gold has literally just smashed into a new all-time high, new all-time high. Amazing to see. It's just, wow, super impressive. And it's what this tells me is that investors, they are seeking protections against inflationary forces that are being unleashed by the central banks right now. All those big investor types, they love gold. And along with their love of gold goes a healthy bit of skepticism about the actions of central bankers. And following along with gold pumping is Bitcoin, aka digital gold. 
Anyway, that's that's the state of the markets today. Very, very bullish overall. I do have a few quick news stories too to share with you. The first one is about Chainlink, which is integrating with a company called Center Prime to bring Forex data feeds from Korean banks into the DeFi space. Now, Center Prime, it is a hyper ledger based project and it has actually got access to the Korean open banking API that basically streams Forex rates data from several local banks. Now, having access to really bring this decentralized data from traditional financial markets into DeFi, this is awesome. It could greatly expand DeFi's use cases and, of course, allow for even further disruption of the entire financial system. Next up, apparently ESPN Global has announced the launch of a blockchain-powered gaming platform. Now, this will allow players to deposit and to withdraw using Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Now, this is massive because esports and online gaming, that is a $140 billion a year global industry. To see a big player like ESPN getting into this and uh, adopting crypto for this is just massive. You know, there was a time when a story like this would have been really, really big news. But with everything else that's happened in 2020, it's going to just kind of be a footnote, a good footnote, but a footnote nevertheless. Also really big news for all the Cardano fans out there. The long-awaited Shelly hard fork is coming on the 29th. This means that you can start staking your ADA to earn rewards. Now stay tuned for information. There's going to be a lot more coming in the next few days regarding uh, staking dates and when you're actually going to start getting those rewards. We do have some tentative dates for that, but do stay tuned for more official information coming from Cardano. So make sure to be following them on Twitter. I'll try to keep up to date, but you know that's going to be the first source of information for you. This is a major milestone for Cardano. Now we finally get to see what this puppy looks like running out there in the wild, in the free. Now for anyone who does hold Cardano, if you're holding it on an exchange, you don't have to do anything. If you're holding it in a Daedalus or your Roy wallet, you should also be fine. Most wallet and exchanges will be upgrading. But do check with your exchange or wallet provider to make sure that they're doing that if it's not one of the major exchanges or if it's not the Daedalus or your Roy wallet. So it's something to keep an eye on. But man, oh man, am I looking forward to getting those sweet, sweet staking rewards. Also, Elrond has been on an absolute tear recently, cracking above 244 Satoshis, which is a 10x since I first discussed it here on the channel. Now, the Elrond mainnet will be launching at the end of the month with massive staking rewards for early supporters of the network. And also Elrond today, they've been teasing us about something which is called Myr. Now that's going to be launching in a few days, so I don't have any information about that, but we will hopefully see what this is going to be. I'm sure considering the Elrond team and what they've delivered so far, it's going to be something pretty gosh darn cool, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Also, Elrond has been making a lot of partnerships related to decentralized finance. Now this is important because this is before their main net even launches and they have multiple DeFi partners lined up already, including one with the buzzy newcomer Orion Protocol. Now, with so much happening for Elrond, I think that we could easily see this price hype really continue beyond the main net. Now, you do have to be aware, though, there's usually that buy the rumor, sell the news kind of effect that happens with main net launches. But with so much happening, all this DeFi and all these big partnerships and all this news, I would not be surprised to see it keep running. Anyway, those are just my two Satoshis for today. Your question, do you believe that this is the breakout. This is the real deal. It's actually happening. Or is this just another fake out and we're going back down, test 200 day moving average or something like that. Anyway, I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.